Hey, it's Kylie, and today we are going to be making some amazing smelling and so cute fall candles that are custom to how you want them to smell, how you want them to look, and they're super cheap. Check it out. You're going to need some soy wax, a wax thermometer, um, anything to stir your wax with. This is just a silicone spatula, scissors, and then some pencils or paint sticks or skewers or something to hold your wicks while they're drying so that they stay centered. If you want your candles to have a fragrance, you're going to need some fragrance. I'm gonna use a couple different things today. I'm gonna to be using two different blends that my friend Cassidy from Young Living made for me. This one is called Crisp Morning Air and this one is called Cider Lane. They are delicious and I cannot wait to get them into a candle. This candle, I'm going to be using some candle fragrances that I bought at the store. This one is Cinnamon Swirl and this one is Spiced Pumpkin. You're also going to need some wicks. You can buy these pre-put together like this, or you can buy a roll of wick and these little things for the ends. A hot glue gun to secure your wick to the bottom of your container while you pour the hot wax so it doesn't float around. Some sort of little bowl for measuring out your fragrances if you aren't using essential oils. I use a big glass measuring cup to melt my wax and to pour my wax. This is not necessary, but it is really helpful. This is a kitchen scale, so it measures in grams and ounces. This helps me when I'm figuring out the ratio of fragrance to wax. You're also going to need a heat source. I'm using this microwave. You can also use a Dutch oven technique on your stovetop. That will work just fine. The first step is to measure how much wax you're going to need for your container. A good rule of thumb when you're measuring out the solid wax is for soy wax, it's going to melt down to about half of what it was in its solid form once it's liquid. Now we need to melt our wax. So I'm gonna put it in, heat it up. 130 degrees is where it's going to melt. About 150 degrees is where I wanna get it so the fragrance can really get in the wax. You'll see after one minute, it's not really all that melted yet, but it's gonna start really soon. So I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Now I'm gonna go to 30 second intervals. All right, I think we're at three minutes and 30 seconds, but you're just going to want to keep that going in cycles until you're liquid. And now we're gonna take our waxes temperature. This thermometer comes with a cool little clip you can just clip on the side. Our wax right now is at 150 degrees, so I'm going to add our fragrance. I'm going to scent this with this essential oil blend. If you have any questions about essential oils, you want to know the recipe to diffuse or to make a candle with, I'll put my friend Cassidy's Young Living link in the description. 40 drops for an 8 ounce candle. point where we're going to add color if we want to add color I am going to add with this candle a liquid dye the dye that you put into your liquid wax is going to look darker than it will when it's dry we have to remember that right now though this is pretty clear and has a yellowish hint to it it's going to dry white so any color you put in there is going to look more pastel when it's dry Now that we have our fragrance and our dye in, we're gonna put our thermometer back in the wax. We want it to cool down as close to 130 degrees, right at that melting point of the soy wax, as we can get it. If we put hot wax into a container that's much colder than it, that's where you're gonna get a lot of sink holes on top of your candles. You can heat up your container in a lot of different ways. What I'm gonna to do today with my microwave is just fill it with water and put it in the microwave, which will heat the water up and the container up. Got this bad boy out of the microwave, gonna dump this water. <laughs> it's very hot. I'm gonna put some hot glue just on this base and center the wick, pressing it down to make sure it doesn't move around once the wax gets in there. Now I'm gonna take a pencil and wrap the wick so it's tight. 
This will hold it tight and straight while the wax is drying. Now that I've secured my wick, my wax has reached about 130 degrees. I'm about to pour it into this still warm container. I am just gonna hit this container with my hair dryer again. If you had a heat gun, this is probably where you'd use it. I don't have one. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and warm for where the wax is gonna go. Then I'm just gonna pour it in slowly. Then it just needs to sit still and set. Candle, I'm going to use a different kind of dye. I'm going to use a concentrated wax dye that's already in a cube of wax. For this 16 ounce candle, we're gonna use one block of this concentrated wax dye. My wax is gonna be at about 150 degrees, so it will melt. I'm just gonna stir it in. Now that our dye is in, I'm gonna add our fragrance. For this candle, I'm using these store-bought fragrances. I combined them, so this is a combination of Spice Pumpkin and Cinnamon Swirl. Um, you can put anywhere from three to six percent of your liquid wax as scent. So I'm actually using six percent as an amount for this. our candles are mostly set. Um, it mostly went really well. So I'm gonna remove my pencils that were holding my wick. This one, I'm gonna do a little fall wrap, okay? So I'm going to get some of these little things that I have for some reason. Use a wire cutter to cut off a section of this. And then using hot glue, I'm just going to secure this to my container. With this one, I'm going to use this frosted glass spray paint, which I love. Not everybody stocks fall stickers, so I'll show you how to make your own really cheap. These are just multi-use labels. I'm going to peel them so that they overlap. I don't really need this sticker to look good. I just need it to act as a resist for the spray paint. So I overlapped them, so now I basically have one big label. I'm gonna use this hole punch that's a big circle. You also could just use a scissor and cut it. Then I'm gonna fold this in half so I can make um, a symmetrical sort of leaf shape. And I'll make a stem. And I'm just gonna put this right on the front of my candle. Make sure you go outside, open up your windows, get in a well-ventilated area because we are going to spray this. Put that aside for a sec. This is a candle that I made earlier with one of Cassidy's essential oil mixes. It smells so good. I'm going to just put in some cloves just for that fall kind of feel. I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to get the top of this the top of this wax hot again. And now that that's nice and soft, I'm going to put in my cloves on the side. Once I have the top the way I want it, another really fun way to transform an ordinary glass is just to put some acrylic paint on a brush, give it a little spin. Still looks rustic. But it has a little more flavor. 